Victor Robles, Juan Soto. What a treat. And we're going to get into some of the drills you do. First off, thank you guys for coming in. Two of the yes, brightest young stars in the game. And we're enamored by what you do. And I know Carlos wants to go into kind of how well, you I have go like about a million it. questions. I, I, there's a million questions. <laughs> Let's start with Victor Robles, please. Vic, I want to kind of go in what you do pregame, what you're thinking. You kind of burst on the scene. You've been a number one prospect for a long time. Yes. But I'll ask you this. A lot of pressure coming to the big Mucha leagues. Presión. Kind of following. Because he showed up last year and was like, between him and Ronald Acuna, can, can, can you breathe a little bit and kind of build to being a superstar? You're putting pressure on. Did you feel pressure to kind of live <laughs> up to what he did? No, he just went out there. Do and play. you think? No, no problem. All right, See, run. it's just cool, cool, calm, and collective. Run, run, run <laughs> Let's tape, run this right. video because it's, it's we've, we've been really just enjoying watching your highlights on a nightly basis. So play the video right here. Tú, tú acabas con ese picheo alto en la zona, la recta. You, you love hitting those high fastballs. Explíquen un poquito tu approach. Bueno, la verdad, siempre, tú sabes, siempre estoy buscando mi recta. Y... Always ready for the fastball. Yeah, I know that they're going to fail the pitch, and I'm going to try to do damage. You know, and when he gets it, he tries to do damage on it. So always looking heater. Always looking heater. Pause that. Because that 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 right is high. It's here, under your waist. And you have a swing. You're always looking for the line. No, of course. You know, I'm a player who I always keep looking for the ball and try to do damage. You know, he's not trying to lift the ball. He's looking for his fastball all the time, and he just wants to do damage on it. I want to ask him about the leg kick. Some guys toe tap it. Some guys kick 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 it. I want to ask him about the leg kick. Some guys toe tap, some guys lay it on the ground. Yeah. Juan's wide and kind of just lifts his foot up like Jim Edmonds. When did he start? Tú levantas el pie. Tú tienes leg un, kick. un leg kick. Tú lo subes. ¿Cómo, cu ¿Cuándo tú empezaste eso? When bueno, did you start? La, bueno, la verdad, eso fue como tres años atrás. O sea, yo hacía el toe tap, eh, pero mientras iba subiendo el nivel, el, como que se me iba poniendo más rápido el juego. Y, o sea, so, so you eso. started with the toe tap, and then he went to the leg kick. Because the game was getting a little fast on him, he needed a little bit more rhythm. Un poquito más de ritmo ahí con el leg kick. Bueno, a nosotros nos encanta el leg kick. We love the leg kick. <laughs> we love the I leg kick. I went the other way. I went from leg kick to toe tap because I felt like I didn't know when to put it down. So I wanted to kind of. Right. Gary Sheffield talked about dancing. Dancing a little bit. You heard that? <laughs> yeah. so, so you like the, the rhythm, dancing? That's the idea, right? Oh, claro. Sí. Tú, tú eres, tú, tú te gusta bailar. Uh, <laughs> en el plato, tú. <laughs> hey Vic, how much you dive in? How much you dive into the numbers? How much video are you watching? Vi, ve mucho video. La verdad no, no, no me preocupo tanto en eso, pero eh, me puede ayudar mucho. Yeah, he doesn't dive too much into the video. He tries to keep it simple, but it does help him. But he doesn't, uh, he doesn't obsess over it. Is there one thing you do in the cage every day? I feel like the great routine. players have a certain routine. Is there one drill? Because I'm going to get into a drill you do, because I, I don't even know what you're hitting the ball with the knob of your bat. I don't even <laughs> understand what you're trying to accomplish. Bueno, yo siempre empiezo en el T y, o sea, luego hago un, un drill de Carlos Bors, o sea, para tratar de quedarme detrás del picheo. Yeah, he loves to hit off the T. And then, ¿cuál es la otra? El Carlos Bors. Eh, le ponen sí. una figura con colores para tratar This de... This is pretty de, cool. O sea, tengo que adivinar el color, pero eso me hace... You love this right here. He does his drill with color balls. So that way he can see the ball first, the color, and helps him stay back and recognize before he goes. ¿Verdad? Para, la, para reconocer los lanzamientos claro. y todo, te ayuda con eso. Sí. I mean, he's pretty methodical. He keeps it simple. Yeah. But as you can see, he's got his drills to his go to drills. Is Syndergaard tipping pitches? <laughs> 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 I don't know that pitch. I mean, how do you own a guy who throws 98 miles an hour and exploding all over the place? You just see him good? No le de todos los secretos, Victor. Don't give him all the secrets. <laughs> he must see him good. He really does. Okay. I bet. All right. So uh, the first question when I knew you were coming in, I said, I have to talk about the homer he hit in Yankee Stadium. The only problem is I went back and looked at 30-30 and Harold Reynolds asked you the exact same question. So can we run this sound full of Harold, please? Furthest ball you hit last year, home run, best home run. <sighs> the best feeling, I, it was the homer I hit against the Yankees at home. Hold, Hold on, rack, 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 rack that back like 15 that times. That was killed. What the heck happened here? This ball gets destroyed. Run it. 
3-1, you're just sitting middle cut heater, Chad Green, 97, and what? Just up by the Eso shake lejos, shack. <laughs> That's a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so bring that back. Hey, look at Gio. Gio's like, gee, what was going on? No, give me to a side angle, please. Yeah, the side angles is This is so is good. Key. Right here. All right, so when did you start spreading out? You always hit spread? Yeah, always. Really, since you were yeah. younger, that just felt comfortable for you? Yeah, I always feel comfortable in that position. Uh, did you model yourself after somebody? Mm, no, I, when I was a kid, I tried to be like Robinson Cano. That's, that's my Oh, that's a, I, I would say that's a, that's a pretty always, good way to go. That works pretty good. That's <laughs> the guy I always follow, and I always try to be like him, hitting in the, in the little leagues, you know, the stuff. And how, how do you have such an innate ability to control the strike zone? Last year, you come to the plate, you're taking pitches that are an inch, two inches off the dish. How do you, how, how is that always since you were young coming up through the minors, you just had a feel for that strike zone? Uh, for me, I think it's a blessing. I just, I just, I don't know. I just see the ball well. I just try to find a place. Like if they throw right there, I'm looking in lanes. Yeah. You're looking in I, lanes. I, yeah, just right there. You're very, you're very selective at, at the yeah. plate, and you're attributing it to your approach, right? You look for the pitch you want, yeah. and you're disciplined with it. Correct? Yeah, that's 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 what I'm thinking. I always look for one spot. If they're missing that spot, I can kill it. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta kill it. You crush lefties too. <laughs> crush like, everybody. Crush everybody. It's, it, it's kind of, it's unbelievable, really. Like when you sit there, you realize how bad a player you were when you watch him <laughs> burst on the scene. But it's so what, young too. Does, it like, keep, does that keep left on left? Keep your front shoulder in, or what? What? Why do you see them so well? The the truth is, when I was a kid, I was scared to hit a against lefties. Um, I always think they're yeah. going to hit me. So one time I just stepped in the play. It was like high A. And I think oh, they're going to throw the ball right on the play. They're not going to hit me. So be ready and hit the ball. The ball going to be in the, right on the play. I was right there. I hit a homer. After that. That's it. He slayed, he slayed the dragon. <laughs> he slayed the dragon. Now, Victor, you have an approach a little more aggressive. Que, 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 que Soto, ¿verdad? Que Juan, uh -huh. you know, his approach is a little bit more aggressive yes. than, than Juan's approach, yet the, the results are, are similar, you know? These, these guys are dominating the, the, the league. Eh, ¿Tú tienes, tú, tú tratas de cubrir el, la zona entera o tú te, te fijas en un solo picheo? Bueno, trato de cubrir la zona entera. He, he tries to cover as much as he can yeah. in, in the zone. I knew, uh, I had it, uh, I had it. That, that's, that's the, yeah, <laughs> you see, Manos. no, no, your Spanish <laughs> is good. I told you, his Spanish bit. is good. His English is pretty good, too. I think he doesn't even All right, I want to I wanna dive in. Can we, can we, Rich, can we get to some of the drills that, that Juan does with Kevin Long? This is unbelievable right here. It's so clean. Yeah, they, they were like, wait a second. <laughs> that Gio's doesn't happen still talking often. about it. He's in Milwaukee, and he's Ta still talking about Time it. Time out. Can you pause it right there? Can you back it up like like just a couple clicks right here? Stop, stop, stop. Look at this guy. This guy is like, are you serious? That he's ball like, just came up here. He just went to the He just went to the ball. He just went to the See what had happened. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so there's some drills that, that you do with Kevin Long, your hitting coach. Back, back that up real quick. There's so much to get into here. Okay, what are you think? Are you into the numbers? How guys attack you or no? no see no, ball, no. hit ball. Yeah, just see and hit it. You're on the heater. <laughs> yeah. I try to when I'm the dog. I'm just looking for the speed. So we gotta be with this velocity. Yeah, but you got a lot. Oh, this, this guy's my <laughs> man, brother. Should have been a better player. <laughs> yes, yes. But he got he got it at, at 13. You know, it took me you know until I was 30. Cuando yo cumplí 30, yo entendí eso. Él lo entendió cuando tenía 13 años, right? He got it at 13. I got it at 30. Years. <laughs> it's okay. Are you thinking like weight on the inside of the back knee? Uh, I don't think at all in that. I just try to be like slowly and get the good motion and and rhythm rhythm yeah and get into the, to the ball no don't think too much in my back cuz can be going hey, bam uh, you can get transfer the ball forward yeah all right run through this rich cuz there there's a drill you do and it's been chronicled a little bit 
like I said with Kevin Long, where I have to know why. Everybody has their routine, why they go in the cage <laughs> and what they, what, what, back that up. Back that up, because <laughs> I want people to see this has to roll through. You got the, 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 the harness, the harness. It's pulling you back right here? Yeah, it's pulling me back. Uh, I try to, right now, that's, that's what happens. I, I, I'm going a little bit. You're actually back. hitting the ball with the knob of your bat. Yeah. What, what's the reasoning for that drill? Uh, the first time I did, uh, my hitting coach, he told me, I tried to hit the ball with the knob because he want, he want me to go from here to here, so get on top of the ball every time, because I was the most Collapsing of the time. backside. Backside, coming down, and a lot of pop -ups. So he tried to make me go on top of the ball, so when I come here, then the barrel comes after that and get through on that. So get, the most of the time is get on top of the ball. That's so you do cool. that drill every day? Yeah. And the harness? Man. Uh, right now, there. yeah, we're doing it every day. And, and what, Victor, que, que tu, Kevin Long. Kevin Long, fue, he was my hitting coach. Kevin Long was my hitting coach. Yeah, really? yeah he was. <laughs> and uh, when I was uh, briefly with the Yankees, and he was great. Uh, que, que te gusta de Kevin Long? What do you work on with him? Bueno, eh, la verdad, como él trabaja con todo el mundo, no tiene, o sea, no tiene a nadie de quien específico. Él trabaja fuerte con todo el mundo. That, that's pretty cool because one of the things that Kevin does is he works with everybody according to their style, correct? Yes. So it's not a cookie cutter uh, approach. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. We we are. I can't thank. We're you guys fascinated. That. We're fascinated by you guys. <laughs> guys really, are so talented, fans. killing the game at such a young age. It's it's fun to watch. I'm telling you, row flow. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, great stuff. Couple of superstars, Carlos. You're a superstar for the. Yeah, uh, thanks, Carlos. For, uh, <laughs> translating. I need to get on Babbel or. <laughs> I need, God, Come I, on, Ruffalo, you got to work on this stuff. You don't speak Spanish? I don't speak it well enough to be on TV like that. <laughs> like, I can okay. say short things, mucho gusto, donde esta, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Victor, you know. I got that. I got you, brother.